You know, I was beginning to wonder that we may not end up seeing this this year after all, but an interesting entry in Sysol Sandra was spotted by Tomb Apisac. It looks like someone ran a dual XELP setup clocked at 1.25 GHz. Now Intel has not revealed any plans for a dual GPU setup using the XELP, so it's a bit surprising to see this particular entry. It is even possible that Sysoft Sandra is incorrectly reading Gen 13, which is XEHP, so high powered dual tile GPU. But for here, for the purpose of this video, we won't speculate on that front and assume that the information read by Sysoft is in fact accurate. Now, according to the Sysoft Sandra read, this is a dual GPU using XELP, so the low power cores, each with 96 EUs. Now that translates to a total core count of 1536 clocked at 1.25 gigahertz. And this clock rate indicates that this is an engineering sample and probably run from somewhere deep within Intel's lab, which means home. Oh, I mean, they could have easily been the ones to leak this, obviously. So we know how that game has been played lately. It is in almost certainly not the final clocks, and we can safely expect these to be at least 1.5 gigahertz for a dedicated GPU, making for an almost 4.6 teflops of compute, which if priced correctly, is a pretty good entry level GPU. Now, before we move on to any further, we are fully aware that T-flops aren't directly comparable across different architectures, but right now with XE, there aren't a whole lot of points to use for comparison. Now we have a feeling that Intel is taking the MCM or multi-core module approach seriously, and well, dual GPUs were previously reserved for high-end applications, will become part and parcel for the entire strategy of GPUs. This actually might be a validation platform for the XEHP architecture that is coming later. It might even be that the XEHP 2 tile GPU itself with Sysoft Sandra incorrectly reading the architecture. Something to think about. If that is the case, then we are actually looking at a 512 EUs per tile, not 96 EUs per tile, or a 4096 core total, which is much more close to a mid-range gaming card that Intel had promised would be landing sometime this year in 2020. That said, the probability of this being a misread is pretty low considering it gave details about the EU count, so we're almost certainly looking at some sort of validation platform before Intel moves on to XEHP. We are sure that the raw performance numbers of Nvidia's Ampere lineup was something to do with this change in plan. With Ampere offering twice the shading performance of last generation, both Intel and AMD would have to step up their game, particularly for future cards in order to stay competitive. Now the tweet was deleted, which is usually Lin's creed to the validation of the information, but we still urge a slight pinch of salt because this decision is still within the evaluation stages. The now deleted tweet by Raichu, according to the leaker, Intel is currently evaluating a SKU with 960 EUs. Now Intel has previously confirmed that XEHPG will have one tile and the biggest tile we've seen is 512 EUs. So that could be theoretically maximum for the company as implied. If this rumor turns out to be true, then it might be that Intel is deciding to change the decision and go with a bend version of a two-tile concept, so 430 EUs each, which is indicative of a bend die from XEHP. Now this would obviously help them remain more relevant and competitive against the offerings from Nvidia and AMD, and Intel's XEHPG lineup is slated to arrive sometime next year in 2021, according to a known Twitter leaker, MeWow, and the GPU is expected to have either six or eight gigabytes of GDDR6 for the first launch. At any rate, it is clear that their first entry into the gaming segments, Intel is going for a mainstream approach rather than an Ampere and Navi Slayer and would likely be targeting the price to performance sweet spot. Now Intel has the financial resources to subsidize their GPUs greatly and sell them to gamers cheap to establish market share and XEHPG should be able to do that perfectly. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.